Okay. And uh, from that, if you look at the scratch point of view, we will going to address the base understanding is the basic of electrical systems in the module one. Module two, we will be going to address the uh, the core topic for the best is your uh, connections, the schema, defining the schema, right, for the connections or the network. So that we will going to hit in the module two, which is the scheme for your battery energy storage systems. This one. Okay. Module three is specific upon the battery sizing and its selection. Whereas we will going to understand different sort of batteries, their chemistries, their principle of working, their uh, behavior, uh, how they behave in while operations, right? Everything related to battery, we will going to understand in the module three. Module four is more specific upon your uh, selection and sizing of uh, PCU uh, and your grid tied inverters. I hope inverter part you are aware, but still we will cover. And then sizing of the PCU is <clears throat> also a game changing point in the best. So that will also will cover in the module four. Module fifth is balance of the system, very specific to uh, network. If I look at so apart from your battery and apart from the PCU, what rest of the system is required, like cables, your cable trays, your transformer, switch gears, right? Everything, what you else you require to connect the system and make it a working unit. So whatever is required in the form of electrical items, we will cover in the module for you to select how to select and uh, size the same. Module six is more upon your engineering uh, drawings and the layout part. <clears throat> Basically, in the module six, what we are going to understand is that if even if you look at the in design part. In design team also, I mean, many organizations within the design team, there has been two sort of uh, people. One who is doing the calculation, who is de designing the system, who is thinking around it. And another one is just drafting the layouts, right? And here we are not going to like uh, teach you how to draft it. We will going to teach you what need you need to think to calculate the same. To understand that so the mindset we are trying to build here mm -hmm. so within the engineering drawing and layout we are going to cover what need to think so that your system your solution would be good fit for your application so that that thoughts will trying to incur into incubate into your mind so that will be more helpful to let's say rest drafting is another story altogether right mm -hmm. there might be a multiple draftsman available in the let's say in the design team but mm -hmm. there is only one person who is actually planning and thinking around the solution right so mm -hmm. in the model six we will try to look into that part very specifically how what you need to design what you need to think about let's say what could be the size of pc what could be the size of the battery and how it will be behave in particular scenarios right so that approach and what sort of provisions we should make in the SLD so that it will be sustained, it will be work around, right? Everything related to that we'll cover into uh, module six. So you can just consider like one, two, three, four, five, we are understanding, we are learning and module six would be the implementation of. Okay. Right. So, and every node, right, if individual model is deals with uh, some objectives. Model one is completely brush up of your thoughts. Model two is objecting to clear the thought related to the network. Model three is related to the battery. Model four is related to the PCU part, the electronic uh, or the electronic and electrical devices. Model fifth is balance of the system, like apart from the battery and the PCU, whatever the remaining is there that deals with the same. Module six would be your engineering drawings on the layout of the your plan. That would be the, the journey we are going to uh, address. So individually, if I look at the the topics, then what are those subtopics? I think you have the those details. Yes. Right? So no need to I mean, go for say, one by one on each topic and how we are covering that. That no need to cover. 
and uh, this abbreviation part I will going to share with you. Okay, I hope you know this uh, some battery terminology like SOC, then SOH. Are you aware about it? Yes. Okay. 